Hello, hi, it's Patricia here from the Web Club with my Titius Tuesday tip for Tuesday the 12th of November. And my tip today is to um, use the Yoast SEO plugin on your WordPress website to improve your ranking on Google. So I'm going to very, very quickly show you what the Yoast SEO plugin is on the back end of my website. And uh, this is a blog which I created last week all about how to use SEO to improve your website visibility. So nipping into the back end here, for anybody who is familiar with Yoast, they will know, or with WordPress, they will know, roughly speaking, what the back end looks like. So we're popping in here, five ways to improve, to use SEO to improve res website visibility. And um, at the very bottom of the page, we will see that there is a Yoast plugin. And what I find is that most people with a WordPress website now, I'm not talking about WordPress.com templates, but with a, you know, a bespoke built WordPress website have got Yoast in already because it is the most popular SEO plugin that there is out there and it's actually the best. And you'll usually see it at the bottom of the page and it'll just literally say Yoast SEO. Sometimes it's closed up like this. Sorry. And then you can open it up again to make sure you can see everything on it. What it does, it gives us a little feature that we can actually add in metadata so that Google can see our site and can understand what the site is all about to help it produce our site on the search engine result. So it shows you, Yoast shows you the snippet preview here. I'm going to scan through this very quickly. It basically has a uh, traffic light system. At the minute I've got a green smiley face, you can see it here, um, on my uh, SEO uh, basic data. They're giving me an amber face here on my readability, which means they're not, it's not so hot. Um, if there was red, then I'd be in trouble. It would be very performing very badly on uh, Google. So I, what I've got here, it gives me a place to put in my focused key phrase, which I have said is use SEO to improve website visibility. So I'm hoping that somebody along the way will actually type that into Google or something similar. And this is the key phrase or keyword that I'm using um, for this post. Um, and then it gives me uh, an opportunity to go in and actually edit what's called a snippet. So you're very, you be very familiar with seeing these um, when you type in any keyword into Google on your mobile phone or on your desktop. And um, you'll always see a blue title here, and that's called the SEO title. You'll always see the URL here, and you'll see what's called a meta description, which is a few words at the bottom. So we can edit that snippet. It's defaulted to put in the, the site title, the title of the page, it's got a separator, which is this here, um, just this tiny little thing here. And then the site title is the web club. So it's kind of defaulted, but I could change that if I wanted to. I could literally highlight over that and change it if I want to. Um, and then at the next most important thing is the meta description. So the meta description isn't is so much what Google uses to actually let your site be seen above somebody else's, but what it does is it entices people to click um, on your on your results to read what's on the page. So people will maybe read this here to understand what is exactly on this page. And because they've done that, that will improve your click through rate and possibly they will stay on your page for a wee while, which are all Google ranking factors. So it's in itself, it's not a Google ranking, ranking factor, but it contributes to lots of other ranking factors like click through rate and page page um, session duration and uh, a few different things like that. So it, the Yoast SEO plugin gives me lots and lots and lots of uh, features. Um, it gives me an SEO analysis here. So it's given me a green face here um, because I have actually done a lot of good jobs on this uh, page, one of them being text length. I've also got most of my um, images with alt uh, tags on. I've got the meta description length correct. Lots of different good things. A couple of wee things they're saying to me I could improve on. So um, if I really want to improve this, then I will take that on board and I'll do that. And the other thing is it gives me the readability. So it's telling me not too bad, not the worst in the world, but too much passive voice. It's probably the way that I speak anyway. Um, and then my subheadings, four sections of your text are longer than 300 words and are not separated by any subheadings. And really that's because Google likes people to be able to easily read or even scan through a page and get an understanding of what's on the page. And we all know how our eyes scan across. We see a heading, we jump into it and read it. Um, and it just makes sense to break it up nicely. So that's all for today. 
That's my Tuesday tip. Use the SEO plugin on your website to help your search engine rankings and get found on Google. Thanks again. Bye.